Hello and welcome back to another GCN indoor training session with me, Manon Lloyd and Chris Opie. Today we're going to do a VO2 max interval session designed by... Neil Henderson of the Sufferfest. He's created some short, sharp intervals for us, is not he? He has. Looks very tough. It does. There's going to be a lot of counting, but the intervals are short. They start off at 10 seconds. And none of them are longer than 30 seconds, are they? No, but I always find the shorter ones a bit harder. Yeah, because they're really pushing you over your threshold power. So over that sustainable power output that you could do for an hour, 120% to start with, going up to 130% later on as well. So it's going to be quite tough, isn't it? But it's the sort of session that's going to make you strong. You've got a bit of a warm up to get through first. So the first four minutes, we're going to be riding at a cadence of 80, intensity of 50%. So you're not trying too hard. It's kind of like going for a walk, isn't it, Manon? Just getting your legs warmed up for the efforts ahead. Yeah, and then we're going to ramp it up for two minutes at an intensity of kind of like a low tempo sort of effort. So if you're going out riding hard for an hour and a half, that sort of intensity, which we're going to call 70% of your sustainable power. It's going to be a little bit harder. You'll get warmed up. Cadence will go up to 90. But for this first four minutes now, it's nice and gentle. One of the longer, easier warm ups. Today we're using our Wahoo indoor training equipment. The fans are keeping us nice and cool. We've got the kickers at the back, so the fan is the headwind, kicker trainer at the back, and we've got the climb as well, although it's a flat ride today, luckily. Get nice and comfortable on the bike, open the window, get a drink. Make sure you've got yeah, a drink, very important for this session. I like to be a sweaty one. So this session is all about short, sharp intervals, and because of that, the time is going to go quite quickly, but we've got a lot to focus on. It's going to get a little bit complicated at times, so some of these efforts are just 10 seconds long, but then with a 10 second recovery as well. We're now halfway through our four minute warm up, the four minute easy part of the warm up. Then we're going to up the cadence and increase the intensity that little bit. This is the proper good session to do on fresh legs, really. You don't want to do this when you're feeling too tired, do you? No, definitely not. Get nice and comfortable, get settled in, get ready for 40 minutes of performance enhancing training. I always find the first few minutes the hardest, actually. Like, your body's trying to come up to speed, isn't it? And you're trying to, like, kickstart, especially when you're a bit tired. It's hard to get going. But once it's out of the way, you get into the intervals. It kind of flows then, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, after the warm-up, I think you'll be ready for it. <clears throat> right. So, the first intervals. Let's talk through them whilst we're still doing the warm-up. They're going to be done at 120% of your threshold power. So if you do have a power meter and your threshold's around 300 watts, that's then 360 watts, for example. Easy math. That's why I've chosen 300 watts. But then the recoveries are exactly half that. So it's 50% or exactly half your threshold power. You've got 45 seconds to go. You want to start thinking about your gearing for the next part of the warm up. So we're going to ramp it up to 90 RPM and the intensity is going to go up to 70%, which is going to be around a four on your perceived exertion. Right now we're working at about a number one. So it's really easy, it should be like going for a fast one. Got a few light openers before we get into the intervals to look forward to. But it's where, when, the, when we start the intervals, that's where the hard work is done. We've got 19 seconds now before we up that intensity. You probably won't need to change gear, depending on the turbo training you're using. I think just upping the cadence at 10 RPM should be enough. But play around with your gears if you need to as well. Five seconds. And we're going a little bit harder. So it's now up to 70% of your threshold power. Should be around 240 watts if you're using, or sorry, 210 watts if you're using a power meter and you had a 300 watt threshold, for example. Cadence 90, that's the important bit. Get comfortable on the bike, keep focused with your cadence. After this slightly more intense part of the warm-up, we're going to ease off a little bit. It's nice to do it in increments, I find. It's like you go forward, you push yourself on, then you catch up with your breathing rate. When I was riding, I always used to like stopping after 20 to 30 minutes, side of the road, have a quick stretch, and then yeah. carry on. It's like your body just catches up with what's going on. Refresh. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Then you're ready to go and you feel a lot better. So this lasts just two minutes. We've got one minute, 10 seconds to go now. Pedaling a little bit faster. Really focus on that cadence, focus on keeping your shoulders nice and loose and supple. Not too much strain through your arms. Don't waste any energy when you're pedaling. 
try and focus on the entire pedal stroke. Something that works really well when you're indoors, actually. Just 50 seconds left, and then we're going to ease up a little bit for one minute. Drop the cadence down to 85, and also drop the intensity down as well. The intensity is going to go down to a three, the perceived exertion. But if you are using a power meter, drop it down to 60% of your threshold. It's going to be a little bit easier. It'd be around 180 watts, for example, if you had that 300 watt threshold. So we've got 25 seconds now. It'd be a perfect time to have another drink, catch your breath properly, and get ready for another part of the warm up where we do push that a little bit harder. So we've got 15 seconds left now. And then we've got a 60 second gentle partial recovery, Neil's called it. Five seconds to go. And press the button, ease up a little bit, cadence down to 85. Now, if you're wondering if Neil Henderson actually does any of these sessions himself, I've seen him out on the bike, and judging by his fitness, I would say there's almost 100% certainty that he's at home doing these sessions as well. <laughs> he came to one of the GCN events last year, and he was definitely in good shape. Seem to work then. So he does practice what he preaches. Yeah. So this brief partial recovery is going to last 60 seconds. So we've got another 30 seconds remaining. And then we're going to really ramp it up a little bit. We're going to go up to 90% intensity. So it's 90% of your threshold power, which is around a six to seven on the perceived exertion scale. So we're going to be breathing pretty hard. Cadence is going to go up to 90. So you may well have to make a gear change here. Scratch my back. 12 seconds to go. This is the important part of the warm up now. This is where the heart and lungs are really going to get going. You really notice an increase in your heart rate and your breathing rate. Two, one, and up. So, cadence of 90, intensity 90%, but maintain that nice posture in the bike. You may have to change your gear just to keep everything aligned. This is going to last six, uh, 90 seconds, sorry. 90 seconds, that's another 75 to go. This is going to start increasing everything in your body, getting it right up towards the sustainable capacity. Get you ready for the hard work that's yet to come. Doing a good warm up always makes it possible to dig that little bit harder when it comes to the main intervals. You may sometimes think it feels like you'd rather get into the interval straight away. You shouldn't neglect your warm up. It definitely means you can work harder later on. Yeah, I can definitely feel the benefit when I've done a good warm-up in the intervals. I just feel I can get everything out in every interval when I've done a good warm-up. Yeah. I always used to find when I'm racing, if I got on the bike and I could pedal really fast, really quickly, really comfortably, it's always going to be a good day. Yeah. Did you ever have something like that? Yeah, you can definitely feel as soon as you get on the bike how you're going to feel. So we've just got another 20 seconds now at 90% intensity. And then we've got 60 seconds of recovery, cadence down to 80. Intensity down to 50%, so back to that walking pace we did at the start. Always push up until those final few seconds, so five seconds to go. Three, two, one, and gentle. So maybe now is a good time to shuffle around on the saddle a little bit if you want to get comfortable. Find that perfect position for later. Cadence down to 80. Intensity down to 50%. It's around a one to two, perceived exertion. Nice and gentle. We're going to keep it there for just 60 seconds. And then we've got one minute at your threshold power. So we're going to do a cadence of 95. And we're going to hold it there at our threshold power. So 100% of sustainable intensity, around 67, seven and a half maybe, perceived exertion. It's going to be one of the final parts of the opener. We've got one more after that. So in just 15 seconds, you want to start thinking about your gearing to get that cadence up to 95, where you're going to need to be. It might well be that I stay in this gear, actually, for me. Five, four, three, two, one. So seven and a half perceived exertion to really feel your legs. Cadence of 95, that's the important bit we're going for. Exertion and cadence. Try and keep a nice position on the bike. Don't bounce around too much. Relax shoulders, good breathing. Really focus on your breathing throughout the warm-up. It's going to make the rest of the session a little bit more controlled and more comfortable. Don't go crazy with your cadence either. Keep track of it. It's all about having good form throughout this, isn't it? 
Definitely, you don't want to go too hard because it's a long session. It is, looking down at the list ahead of us, I'm quite nervous. So we've got a screen in front of us with all the details, much like the screen you'll see at home. Just 15 seconds to go on this one now. And then we have a 45 second recovery. And then we have the final part of our warm up, which is another 45 seconds. So five seconds to the recovery. Three, two, one, and recover. Cadence down to 80, intensity down to 50. So back to that walking pace, that walking feel in the legs. Now the final part of the warm up starts in 35 seconds. 110% of our threshold. So imagine you had that 300 watts, that'd be 330 watts, that threshold power. But the cadence is 100, so we're gonna be pedaling faster than we have been, trying a little bit harder for 45 seconds. And then we go straight in to a nice gentle recovery after that. So just 15 seconds to go. Think about the gearing you're gonna need. Think about your position. Think about your breathing. Get ready for a 45 second effort. It's a real taste of what's to come. Three, two, one. Get that cadence right up there to 100 straight away. Maintain that nice cadence, 100 RPM. It's just 45 seconds, it's not long. This is really gonna warm us up perfectly for the efforts that are about to come. It's gonna be hurting. And if it hurts, it works. That's what a teammate always used to say to me. I like that saying. Just give that. <laughs> Deep breathing, 10. Get that perfect position on the saddle. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, 80 cadence, 50% of intensity. So it's again a one to two. It's a feeling like you're going for a walk. We've got 90 seconds here, and then we're into the efforts. Now this is where you have to try and keep track. So these efforts are done at nine out of 10 perceived exertion, but they're only 10 seconds long. They're not sprints, but they're done at the sort of power you can maintain for 20 to 40 minutes. So they are really hard, genuine threshold efforts. Got one more minute until we start those. So we're gonna do this for six minutes. Six times 10 seconds. It's not a lot, but it's enough to get us primed for the bulk of this session. The middle, the middle grouping of efforts, which is going to feel the hardest, I think, looking out on the paper in front of us. 35 seconds to go. Think about your cadence. Cadence has to be 100 for these efforts. The percent of FTP is 120%, so that's 360 watts if you have a 300 watt th threshold, for example. 240 if you have a 200 watt threshold. Getting ambitious with my mass now, man. Yeah. 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We drop down to that recovery pace in between these intervals, and then we step it back up to that nine out of 10. We've got five seconds to go. There's only six of these. We'll power through them nice and quickly. It'll soon be over. Go. So 100 RPM, 120% FTP, and then drop down to 80. Five, three, two, one, and 80. These are gonna go real fast. That's already one. I'm gonna count them out of my fingers. Get ready for the next one. Go. Effort number two now. 100 RPM. And recover. Cadence back down to 80. You probably have to change gear for this. Intensity down to that of a walk. And in three seconds, we start effort number three. Go. You notice that your breathing and your heart rate don't really drop off between these efforts. And one. So that's three of those done now. And we're getting through these. Ready, steady, go. Effort number four. So we're now past halfway mark on these first efforts. Cadence of 100. Keep that intensity up. Nine out of 10. And recover. Just two more to go. And then we've got a slightly longer recovery then. Three, two, one. Number five, this is the penultimate one. Really push that cadence up over 100. Really go for 120% if you're using the power meter 
of your threshold. Two, one, final recovery in this one. You've got just one more effort. That starts in five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. You notice it's quite hard to back off the pedals. We've got five seconds here. Keep that cadence going at 100 RPM and recover. So right back down, 50% of intensity. So that's half your threshold power. That's a walking intensity. Feels like you're not doing anything. You're breathing deep because you've been trying hard. We've got 100 seconds of this now. And then we go into some more slightly longer efforts, but at slightly lower intensity. However, man on, these are going to be tough. They are, my legs are starting to burn already. <laughs> these are tough though, because we don't really drop down that much in between the efforts. There's a little bit of cadence changing, but we're going from 110% down to 90%. So the workload is at 110% and the recovery is at 90%. So that would be 330 watts, back down to 270 watts for that 300 watt threshold, for example. So you're working at like an eight out of 10, seven out of 10. Eight out of 10, seven out of 10. So imagine you're riding in a group out on the road. And you're making those like minor accelerations for 20 seconds and you're easing off tiny bit for 20 seconds, you're going again. We've got one, six of these to go through again, just like before. It'll be over before you know it. So 25 seconds until we start these efforts. I'm getting warm in here. How are you doing? Yeah. So just 15 seconds now before we get into these efforts. Cadence of 95 on the work effort. And the cadence of 90 on the recovery. Well, it's not a recovery. It's the slightly easier part of the effort. Here we go. We've got five seconds. 110% of FTP for 20 seconds. Three, two, one, go. 20 seconds now. 120% of F sorry, 110% of FTP. Cadence of 95. It's only 20 seconds. But don't forget the recovery period is not a recovery. It's just a slight easing off. It's not that much easier at all. and recover. So instead of recovering, you might just shift back one gear, maintain the intensity close to that threshold power. So it's now a seven out of 10 if you're doing it on feel. Keep your cadence at 90. We'll soon be through effort number one and into effort number two. In two seconds, we're going harder. Go. So the second one now. Build the cadence up to 95, 110% of FTP. Really digging, we're halfway through the second one now. Good deep controlled breathing. Really focused throughout this interval. Three, two, one, and recover. Second part of the recovery now. So drop the cadence down to 90. Maintain the tension on the pedals. Breathe deep. This effort will be over before you know it in just a few minutes. Three seconds until effort number three. And go into effort number three. We're we'll halfway through this in just 15 seconds. Focus on the full pedal, pedal stroke, 120% of FTP. And really drive it until the last second as well. Relax those shoulders, breathe deep, stay comfortable on the bike. And down to 90% now. Cadence back down to 90. Ease off that a little bit. Got three more of these to go. 10 seconds, we're going to start effort number four. My heart rate's not dropping at all between these. Three, two, one, effort number four. This will be when you start to feel it, I think. That's where I'm starting to feel it. Really aim for that cadence of 95. Just 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one, stop. So we've got just two more of these to go. It's a very subtle up and down. It's really burning the legs. Try and pedal through the entire pedal stroke. Don't just use one muscle group. Maybe a quick drink, a small drink. Three seconds, an ultimate effort. Go. Really ramp that cadence up as fast as you can. You've got one more after this. Stay controlled, stay focused. Seven seconds to go. And 
drop it down to 90%. We've got one more of these to go. And we've got a very gentle, just under two minute recovery. So in 10 seconds, we start the final effort. Then we've got a nice recovery period. Five seconds to go until the final one. Really push throughout this one. Really dig in tight for that 90. Go. Build it up to 95 now. Hold it at 95. Really drive it until that final second. Really keep pushing. Don't skimp in the last two to three seconds. Keep yourself controlled on the bike. Pedal hard. All the way around the pedal stroke. Three, two, one. And effort right down to walking pace. Easier than we were going at the beginning. Get some good deep breaths. Take a drink. Get a towel to wring the sweat off your forehead. We've got nearly two minutes. We've got one minute and 50 seconds of recovery. Then we go into some interesting 30 second efforts then, which are really, really gonna push our bodies towards their limits. So we should be aiming for a cadence of around 80 right now. Maybe stand up and have a little jiggle in the saddle, get comfortable. It's one of my favorite things to do. One minute 10 to go. So this 30 second effort, it's going to be completed at cadence of 90 and just above threshold. Then we're going to drop it down to 90% of threshold power. So we're going to play around with an 8 and then a 7. And then we're going to push it real hard for the last 30 seconds. So these are 90 second intervals. <coughs> Let's see us go above our capacity, a little bit below, and then really push above it again. But because they're only short and they've got 30 second proper recovery periods in between them, it's going to be okay. All right, just 30 seconds now until the first one. Each of these is slightly different, and I'll talk you through them as we go. So the first block, 110%, then 90%, then 120%. All of these are for 30 seconds. And the cadence is 90 for the first 30, 90 for the second 30, and then 95 for that final surge towards the finish. And we're going to start in just 10 seconds. So get ready, find a gear, build the power up to 110% and the cadence up to 90. Three, two, one, go. So the same intensity as before, 110% of threshold. And the important thing is your cadence. This is an eight out of 10 on perceived exertion. So you're trying really hard. And then we're gonna back it off ever so slightly for 30 seconds. And then ramp it up towards the finish again. Breathe deep, we've got five seconds until we back it off slightly. Down to 90%, 90 cadence. There we go. 30 seconds now, ever so slightly easier. Might have to change gear. And then we've got a 30 second surge after this where we really push hard for 30 seconds. We're gonna up the cadence as well. It's gonna help you increase your leg speed, how you expand your lungs. Try and find a nice comfortable position to do that. Got five seconds. You're going to really push hard then. Cadence of 95 and 120% of FTP. That's a real nine out of 10 perceived exertion. Good deep breathing. And we go into a 30 second recovery at a cadence of 90. It's not a full recovery. It's a brief one, it's 80% of capacity. Should be a five out of 10 in two, one. So maintain a bit of pressure on the pedals. Keep your legs turning, help them recover that little bit faster. Good deep breath. This would be around 240 watts if you had a 300 watt threshold right now. So in a minute, we've got three of the hardest efforts to come. 30 seconds, it's going to feel like a nine, nine and a half out of 10. Go, build the cadence up to 100, put your power up to 130% of FTP. Be 390 watts, if you do use a power meter and you have 300 watt threshold. Really rev your legs out for these 30 seconds now. Good deep breaths, and in nine seconds, we're going to ease off and drop down to a four out of 10 perceived exertion. Three, two, one. 
Now ease off quite a bit. You want to maintain around 70% of what you could do for an hour. Breathe deep. We've got 20 seconds like this, and then we're really going to go for it. We're going to really push our cadence up to 110. Should be pedaling at around 85 right now. But in 10 seconds, it's going to feel like a nine and a half out of 10. You're going to really push 150% of threshold power. You ready, man? On ready. Three, two, one, go. Cadence up, 110. Really spinning, really going for it. It's 20 seconds to go. Get your cadence right up there. That's the important thing. Cadence and power. Cadence and power. 15 seconds. Breathe deep, push hard, right until those final few seconds. Three, two, one. Drop the effort. Drop the effort down to 50%. Back to that walking pace we had at the start. We've got 30 seconds here, and we're gonna push on again. Good deep breath. We've got a 30 second effort, fast approaching us. These recoveries are gonna come a little bit faster now as we tire. We can't get on top of our breathing. It's going to really increase your VO2 max. Five seconds. And we're up to cadence of 100. Go! Cadence of 100. Effort 130%. Nine out of 10. 20 seconds. Really drive that cadence. Hold that form on the bike. Really dig deep. Where all the magic happens in this next 10 seconds. Then we've got a recovery at 90 cadence coming in four, three, two, one. It's five out of 10. You want to feel the tension on your legs still for this next 30 seconds. There's a big recovery on the way, guys. Just dig in for the next couple of minutes and it's coming. Five out of 10 perceived exertion for another 15 seconds. I'm going to push it back up over our threshold. Get that cadence going again. Back up to 95. 120% of FTP is your goal now. Three, two, one, go. Cadence 95, really fight for this. Really push all the way through the pedal stroke. It's just 30 seconds here. And at the end of this, ease up ever so slightly. Let your cadence drop to 85. Keep it in the same gear for 30 seconds. There's one more minute of effort before the recovery after this. Five seconds, three, two, one. And ease up that little bit. Cadence now, it's down to 85. For 30 seconds. This should be a six out of 10. So still trying hard. We've got another 15 seconds like this. And then we've got one minute of close to max effort. We've got a nine and a seven out of 10 on the way. Starts in five seconds. So we'll be in the same gear, 110% of FTP. Go. So up, 110. Cadence of 90. Dig deep, this is a nine out of 10. And it's a really hard effort now. Cadence of around 90, if you can. And then we're going to back this effort up with another 30 seconds, but ever so slightly easier. Let the intensity drop from that 110 down to that 90. Two, one. So maintain the pressure on the pedals. Go from a 9 out of 10 to a 7 out of 10 for another 25 seconds. And then we've got a nice two and a half minute recovery coming. Breathe deep. Keep your legs turning. Keep focused. 12 seconds until that recovery is on the way. Keep that seven out of 10 effort. Keep digging in deep, keep hurting, keep trying. Three, two, one. Here we go, big recovery. Now down to that nice, easy walking pace. Have a big drink now. We've got, oh, we've got 10 and a half minutes to go. We've got some big efforts on the way but they're 20 seconds long. These first efforts are 20 seconds long. You can do that, can't we, Manon? Yeah, that was a really hard set, that, with 
not much recovery at all. That's what makes it tough, isn't it? Yeah, the fact you don't ever, you don't ease off quite <laughs> as much as you hope. No. Over-unders, I think, is the best way of describing that, isn't it? Yeah. You're ever so slightly over what you can maintain. You're just underneath it, which enables your body to catch up just about, or not quite. And then you go again. And two and a half minutes now. Cadence of around 80 if you can. Try and maintain like a one to two out of 10 perceived exertion. Under 50% of your FTP if you are using a power meter. Oh. Oh, it looks like my heart rate does want to drop a little bit, so that's nice. Instead of seeing it in the 170s, 180s. So, we've got 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Now these are hard, easy, hard, easy. There is a proper recovery in these, so that's nicer, isn't it? It's nice to see. And it's the same with the last ones as well. It's almost like a pyramid. We started with 10 second intervals. We built up to 30 second intervals. And we're now going back down the other side. So we've got 20 seconds to come. And then after that, we've got 10 seconds. We're getting there, man. On. Here we are. You can see the end. <laughs> <laughs> so just 40 seconds now until this next block. This is a penultimate block. There's four efforts, four recoveries. Aiming for a 95 cadence in the effort. And we're going for 120% of FTP. So that would be 360 if you had a 300 watt threshold. It's the number I keep using because I'm not that great at maths. Ten seconds to go. Cadence of 95 is what we're aiming for. 120% of FTP in three, two, one, and it's 20 seconds. Go. Really drive hard until the end of that 20 seconds. There's four of these in total. 95 cadence when you're trying hard, 85 on the recovery. Three, two, one. And that's the first one out of the way. So you've got 20 seconds now, nice and easy. Cadence of 85, let that drop. Get on top of your breathing. Really force some air through your lungs. Don't forget you control your breathing. It doesn't have to be a passive thing. And we've got five seconds until the next one. The nice thing about these is they do come fast. Two, one, go. Second one now. Cadence of 85. Build it up to 95. Hold it at 95. Really push throughout the entire session. Really go until that last second. We've got five seconds now. Three, two, one. We're now halfway through this block. Just got two more intervals. Two more to go. Let that intensity come back down to walking pace. And then really push on again. Those micro recoveries for those macro gains as it was in the title. Two seconds to go and push. Build up from 85, back up to 95. Dig deep now. We've got 10 seconds left on this one. This is the penultimate interval of this block for our next recovery period. Three, two, one. We've got one more interval on this block. And then we've got 80 seconds of walking pace, which I'm quite looking forward to. Just 10 seconds to go now, then we're on to the last one. Really dig deep on this last one. Really push through if you've been struggling. Aim to finish on a high off the block. Good deep breath. Three, two, one, go. Just 20 seconds. Build that cadence back up to 95. Get that power back up to 120%. Really drive it. Second half of this one now, come on. Just eight seconds left now. Three, two, one. Our walking pace. 80 seconds of walking pace now. And we've only got 40 seconds of effort left in total. We're nearly done. We're getting through this. What is it they say about sweat? It's just fat crying. <laughs> Pain leaving the body. Pain, there's a lot of that going on over here. <laughs> there's a lot of pain in the body, actually. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> so 50 seconds left before we start the final block. And it's just 40 seconds of effort. 
we've done this before, cadence of 100. Percent of FTP up to 130. If you're doing it on perceived exertion, it's a nine out of 10. It's not a sprint. It's seated, it's pedaling hard, it's pushing hard. It's gonna be hurting. And if it hurts, it works. That's what a teammate always used to say to me. These final intervals, everything gets harder. 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off. The first one, 130% of FTP, then 150, 170, and finally 200% of FTP. It's gonna be a max effort. Gonna build up to 10 out of 10 perceived exertion. Cadence is 100 for the first two, then it's 110 and 120 for the final one. It's almost a sprint. Get ready, go. Cadence of 100, 130% of FTP. So it's hard, it's only 10 seconds. We've got a 10 second recovery now. Breathe deep for this 10 seconds, because this last few are really gonna hurt. Up to 150% on this next one. So go, real digging deep. Cadence of 100 again. Just five seconds left to go. Press that lap button, 10 second recovery. All right, that's this last two that's gonna burn. 170% of FTP right now, and then up to 200%. 3, 2, 1, go. Cadence of 110 for this one. So you're pedaling that bit harder. You're trying that bit harder. Burning that bit more. And recover. And here we go. 10 out of 10. This last one's really gonna hurt. This is where all the good work's done. This final effort. 3, 2, 1, go for it. Cadence of 120, 200% FTP. It's basically a sprint. All you've got left, two, one, and that's it. Recovery time. Choose a nice easy gear, have a nice big drink. Breathe deeply. I've got two minutes, three minutes and 10 seconds here to warm down, nice and gently. Good deep breaths are important now to help your recovery. Some light stretching maybe when you get off the bike. Something to eat, a cold shower because I feel like I need one. How are your legs feeling, Manon? I'm really hurting, they're aching now. Definitely need a good really, recovery. It really, really took hold in the middle, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Where you don't get those real recoveries, you're up, down, up, down. That's where I found it tough. Yeah, and it actually went really quick for 40 minutes of effort. Yeah, I can't believe that session was 40 minutes. Yeah. I feel good for doing it. Definitely, yeah. I always feel better after doing a hard session even though before you probably don't want to, but it's always, always feel better when you get off. Yeah, you know you've achieved something, you know you've done some good work. Yeah, definitely. It's easy to put it off or it's easy to say no, but once you've done it and you've got it out of the way, it does feel good. Just two more minutes of nice, gentle recovery pedaling. Cadence of around 80. Notice I've let mine drop a little bit too much. Try not to ease off too much. Your body recovers a little bit better at a slightly higher intensity than you might expect. I think it was Neil Henderson actually that said 60% of FTP is where you recover optimally. Yeah, I think recovery is definitely important after doing such hard efforts, you know, 110 of your FTP. And then, you know, if you stop completely, you'll be hit. When you wake up tomorrow, you'll be hitting. So it's yeah. definitely important to get a good recovery and cool down in. Definitely. A little bit of stretching, a little bit of hydration. If you're looking for more of these sessions, there's more than just this one on the channel, isn't there? There is, there's few. many. We've done quite a few recently, so you'll be able to look at those. And there are also many of the others over the recent years that you can check out. This one's been designed by the Sufferfest, designed specifically to be used indoors. And they're good, they're time efficient, aren't they? Definitely, yeah. You can get a good workout in just 40 minutes. There's a few more of these on the channel, so if you enjoyed them, do give them a big thumbs up. Make sure you check out the playlist that is available. The equipment we've been using is the Wahoo setup. It's something we always use when we're training indoors because we have it at our disposal, which makes life a little bit easier for us, doesn't it? Very thankful for the fan. Very thankful for the fan. That was very useful. I'd recommend a good little bit of stretching right now. I'm gonna collapse on the sofa behind me like I did earlier. Get a nice cold shower. You can all go off and enjoy the rest of your day, no matter what it is you're doing. Maybe you can do another session if you're still feeling fresh. If you are, you're a lot stronger than I am. Definitely, yeah. Well, I'd struggle try. to do anything else after yeah. this. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Enjoy the other sessions.